Look at See, that. The orange one already broke the tip off. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I will be reviewing and swatching the ColourPop Color Outside the Liner Vivid Gel Liners. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It will mean the world to me. Now let's get right into the video. I am so excited to have this in my collection. Now this is a 20 gel liner set from very vivid colors to more nude to dark colors. It costs $88 and the value is of $140. So it's a very great deal to get all of this. It's still expensive, but I once you have this in your collection, you can create so many fun looks and use them in so many fun ways. They are easy to use glide on pencil and they make it like a breeze to create the perfect look you want. There's 20 colorful shades ranging from neon to metallic. This is like metallic ones right here. It won't be hard to find the shade you would like to complete the perfect look or any type of look you would like to create. Now with this ones, because they're gel liners, gel but crayon, not liquid, the color glides on very smoothly and comfortable on the eye and they are very comfortable and easy to apply in the waterline. Now the creamy formula makes the blending very easy so you can use it as an eyeliner or you can actually fill in your eyelid and use a blending brush and use it as an eyeshadow because they're very creamy. And when it dries down, it dries down for like a long lasting wear. The finish is matte to metallic. Uh, big variety of shades. Now, as you know, I purchased the NYX ones and the ones by NYX, I was able to get this five shades. So you can kind of see the colors. The one by ColourPop, I see them to be a little bit more electric, more vivid. So I'm glad to have this in my collection as well when you don't want to create too much of a vivid look, but look at this. They're all so beautiful. I love these colorful liners. Now for application tips, I will show you. I'll take one out. I'll take the first one out, the pink one. So to prevent breakage, be sure not to over advance the liner. So it's a twister. You can twist it. And when you twist it, you don't want to over advance the liner because that can easily make the tip break. Now, when you want to smoke out or smudge, make sure you use a pencil brush. So now, now that we know about these gel liners and how to use them, I will give you some swatches and let you know what each liner name is. So just to give you a comparison here, this is what the NYX liner looks like. This is what the ColourPop liner looks like. So you can see the sizes are pretty much the same. I'll give you a close-up like this. Well, the difference with the NYX, what I see is that the top lid is see-through. So the actual lid is see-through compared to the ColourPop one, which is the actual a solid color on the lid. Now let's start with the pink one. Now this is a neon pink and this shade is Insomniac. And I will give you a swatch. So we're gonna start with the pink one. I'm gonna swatch them on my arm. That's what the pink one looks like. Next in line is the orange one. And the orange one is called Unt Liner. This is what it looks like. That's what the orange one looks like. Yeah, so they are very gel-like and you can see the orange one already broke the tip off. So you have to be careful, be very gentle with them and make sure that they're not all the way out. A little goes a long way. So keep that in mind. Now the next in line is, it's a canary yellow. It looks like this, which is lighter than the orange. And this is in the shade Punch. So I have to be very, very gentle with this. So they are so gel-like that all you have to do is literally touch the skin and the color comes out. So there's the canary yellow one. Next is a neon yellow. Look at this. I love having nail color, this type of color. And this is in the shade 
crossed, C-R-S-S-D. Very, very little touch and the color just comes on. So beautiful. There's the neon yellow right there. Let's use this in the waterline. Look at that compared to this eye. Just touch the waterline and it just brightens the eye and gives it this nice pop of color. Very beautiful. Next in line is the neon green. Oh, I love this color as well. This is called Electric Daisy. Very pretty right here. Electric Daisy. I like that name. Next in line, this is a sea foam green. And actually this matches my nails very beautifully. And this is in the shade Zulu. Zulu. Beautiful teal color. I love it. Oh, I've never had such creamy gel-like liners except the NYX ones. So I will swatch the NYX ones on this arm so you can kind of compare the vividness of the colors. But they are so very easy to use. So I'm excited about that because I had other gel liners you spent between six to $12 on one and they don't perform this amazing. Now this is emerald green and this is in the shade teaspoon. Very beautiful emerald green right there. I like to keep them in order as I take them out. Next one. Now this is more of a blackened teal, so it's a darker type of green. And this is in the shade Fast Lane. Oh, this looks very nice. This you can even use as a black eyeliner, but it has that little tint of green in it. This is more of a bright periwinkle blue, kind of like a very light lavender purple. And it's in the shade Prance. So pretty, look at this, it's beautiful. Look at this nice shades. This is more of a deep black and blue, and this is in the shade DTLA. It's more of a nice darker purple. I would love to have nail color in the shade, so pretty. Oh, this is very dark, it's like a dark blue right here. I did not expect that because look at the color, it's much different than it shows. And out of all of them, this one seemed to be less gel-like. So what I've noticed here, that at the top it comes with a sharpener and look, when I take it out, I've noticed that this top right here, it's kind of cracked. I don't know if you guys can see it, unfortunately, but it's still usable, so it's okay. But yeah, it comes with this sharpener right here, so you can sharpen the tip once you use it and it becomes dull, you wanna make the tip sharper so you can use it as an eyeliner. This is a cool toned pastel lavender and this is in the shade Crybaby. Oh, this is so pretty. This is a very good one to use in the waterline. It is very um, subtle so it gives the eye that widening light effect. So this is really good to use in the waterline for sure instead of using a white one or a cream one. Just a little bit of pop of color but not too intense. Now this is a vivid red violet shade and it's in the color Piggy Bank. Looks like this. Very pigmented purple and the bright white. So we do have a white in here, which is exciting because if you are not a fan of colors, you do have the nudes, the white, silver, golds, and black and browns. And this is in the shade Exit. Let's see how pigmented this white one is. Very beautiful white right here. This is a creamy warm nude color and this is in the shade Honey Dude, which is again a very nice nude for the waterline especially great for fall when you play with a lot of browns on your eyes right here it's very hard to see this one right there now this is a bright true silver i love this color now this is in the shade kicker Ooh, it has like shimmers inside but not big glitters falling out or anything right there so pretty. I love it. I love the silver one. Make sure that stay tuned till at the end of the video so you can see all of these colors and comment down below what was your most 
favorite color of them all. I'll give you my favorite color at the end as well. Now this is a soft metallic gold and this is in the shade Dirty Talk. I love this metallic ones. Here it is. There's the metallic gold right there. This is a metallic rose gold and this is in the shade Get Paid. Very nice metallic. Look at this. It's like a chrome color. Beautiful. It looks like my lines or my hand is getting crooked. <laughs> this is a warm metallic bronze and it's in the shade Overboard. Very nice. I love this metallic ones. They can, this metallic ones I would use for eyeshadows, like a smudge eyeshadow type of look. So this is where this one looks like, the metallic brown or bronze. We have two more. This is a deep plummy brown. It looks like a dark brown with a hint of plum and it's in the shade Call Me. Let's see when we apply it. Yes. So this is a regular matte one, so it's not metallic. It's like a dark brown and has kind of a hint of plum in it, but it's hard to tell, so it's mostly a dark brown. And the last one is the beautiful black. And this is a true onyx black in the shade Swerve. Very nice gliding on the hand right there. Beautiful. So these are all of those 20 colors. Let me swatch the next ones. Well, I'll swatch them beside here. I swatched the next ones right here, as you can see, the yellow, the red, the purple, the teal, and the light purple. Now, what I see the difference in with this ones, all of these next ones have little white shimmers in them. They're not fallout shimmers. You can barely notice them when you put them on the eye. You can use them in the waterline, but I'm comparing them to the mattes of ColourPop. They're in between the mattes and in between the metallic. So the only difference with the NYX ones, they seem a little bit more sturdy from, especially when I swatch them but I think that the ColourPop ones are a little bit more gel-like consistency, which are kind of easier to glide. So as you can see at the beginning of the video, I put this, the neon yellow in the waterline of my eye, and you can see that it's still there, so it has not smudged. I know when I did a review on the NYX liners, people have asked me how the, how do they last in the waterline? So they do last a very long time. I can't remember the exact amount of hours, but I've been filming for over half an hour already and you can see that it's still in the waterline. It has not smudged or it has the intensi intensity of the color did not go away. So like I promised you guys, I'm gonna give you my favorite colors in this. One of my favorite is actually this one. This is the neon yellow in the shade Crossed, C-R-S-S-D, and I really love this color. And of course, I love them all, but if I were to pick one, so I picked this one from the Vivid Colors, and I think from my nude colors, I really love the metallic silver. I really love this color. I haven't seen it in any other eyeliners, so I'm really excited about this one as well. So my final thoughts on this product is that I do recommend them. They are $88, so it's a little bit more on the expensive side, and this is 88, I believe, US. I think that if you do have this in your collection, it's enough. You can create so many beautiful looks. It just creates a nice look that brings it to just another level than having just eyeshadow. So I think that it's definitely a must in your collection if you love makeup. But like I said, if you're not into liners, then you can just play with eyeshadows and that's good enough. But I definitely like to have this because I like to add a nice colorful waterline and uh, bring my look to just another level. So those are my final thoughts on them. Now, like I said, they are very similar to the NYX ones. So if you wanna purchase the NYX one, that's fine as well. I find that the vivid colors are a little bit more vivid than the NYX ones. I do find that the NYX ones are a little bit stronger and they have extra shimmers in them compared to the matte ones on this ones. The metallic ones are wonderful as well in this collection. If whatever your preference is, is my recommendation is that 
I do recommend this product. I really love it and I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed this review on the ColourPop gel liners. If you did, please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up. If you liked it, it would mean the world to me and I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.